What's up tech fans? Welcome back to the show. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a mini PC that is pretty much at the top of its game as far as being a little desktop unit. I'm talking about the Camry H2 and this thing actually has a nickname. It's called the Steel Cannonball. So let's check out this little i9 bad boy and see what it's all about here on Tech of Tomorrow. Did you just buy a brand new computer or upgrade your old computer with so many parts it's now asking for a new Windows key and you don't have one? Well, check this out. VIP Your CD Key has you covered and you don't have to pay Bill Gates that $199 price tag at all. You can get it right now for under $25 and it's easier than ever to do. All you do is you go over to the website on their website you create an account after that you go and find your software you put your software in the card enter the code tot20 it will give you a wonderful 25 percent discount you go to the checkout after you do the checkout check your email a couple of minutes later you will have the code in there put it in your computer and activate your computer it's that simple and check it out all of these codes are guaranteed for life. So save yourself some money and check out the links below. So before we jump into the video, I would kindly ask that if you like the video that you hit that like button and if you could share it. And I ask at the very least that if for some reason you don't like the video, you don't just unsubscribe to the channel. So with that said though, let's jump in and let's first, let's take a look at how this unit looks on the outside talk about what's on the inside, do some performance scores, and then talk about at the end of the day why this might be worth your money because it's on sale right now and it's actually under $500. So let's jump in. The steel cannon is actually pretty elegant looking. With its chrome and steel exterior and the copper heat extruders, this all makes for a pretty cool and clean look. Now in the front, you get started. From the left, we see a USB 3.2 Generation 2 Type-C, followed by a set of USB 3.2 Generation 2 inputs, an audio jack, and finally the power button. Now, both sides of the unit have some cool copper openings that allow the heat from the system to be blown out the sides by the internal fan. Starting out on the back of the top, we have the HDMI connection, and underneath that, the DC power connection. Along the bottom, you can see more openings for the heat of the system to be dissipated out of. Next up is the display port, this is an RJ45 gigabit ethernet port. And lastly, an additional quad set of Gen 2 USB 3.2 ports. Now the H2 measures in at only 5.04 by 5.04 by 1.63 inches and features an innovative mini PC computer design, which makes it just a fraction of the size of traditional desktop towers. And with the addition of a vase mount, you can easily hide it behind your monitor or place it in your living room or TV cabinet. Perfect for integrating into any home or office environment. Saying goodbye to clustered cables and bulky cases. Now internally, the H2 is pretty decked out and can compete with many full-size desktop systems. It's equipped with an 11th generation Intel Core i9 11900H flagship mobile processor with a turbo frequency of up to 4.9 gigahertz, it has 24 megabytes of level 3 cache. It's an 8-core, 16-thread design. And the Intel UHD graphics feature a GPU frequency of 0.35 gigahertz and a turbo boost of 1.45 gigahertz. Now, the system comes equipped with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 SODIMM memory, which is upgradable to 64 gigabytes, and a 1 terabyte M2 SSD, which is also upgradable to 4 terabytes. Like I said, the H2 has a lot of power under the hood. There is also an internal cooling fan to keep the system running cool even when it's being used for multiple processes at once. The onboard graphics are what I honestly feel is the weakest aspect of the H2, as it's just not as powerful as AMD's 780M solution, which is what comes on most of AMD's mini PCs. Honestly, I feel the onboard graphics are the weak link in this particular system. 
The H2 is powerful all the way across the board, except for in these internal graphics. I just feel that AMD's 780M solution, which most of the AMD mini PCs come with as their AI solution, is just better all around. Now the graphics memory is also being shared with the PC's CPU, so it's 32 gigabytes divided by both, which is the case with most mini systems and laptops. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's do a little performance testing and then let's close and find out what this system is really worth at the end of the day. The Cinebench R23 multi-core score is 9511. The Geekbench 5 single core is 1590. Now, as far as the integrated graphics score goes, its FP32 performance was 1601 gigaflops. This is actually a decent score for casual gaming at lower resolutions but I found most games at 1440 were just barely playable at the lower setting. And these were definitely not the current A-rated 3D shooters, but top-down games like Diablo, Civ, and others of its kind. All right, so there you have it. The Camry H2 Steel Cannon. So check this out. They say that this is a gaming mini PC. I'm going to have to pretty much kind of disagree with that. The Intel, the onboard video chipset that's on this, it's just okay for basic gaming. I mean, this is not a gaming machine whatsoever. Now, the i9 processor, 32 terabytes of really fast memory and a one terabyte, you know, M2 SSD, all this is for a great powerful desktop system. So if someone's looking for a mini PC that's good for everything really other than gaming, then this is probably one you'll wanna take a look at. And it's currently on sale, like I said, for under $500. It's normally like $650, but I believe that right now it's still on sale for under $500, which is a pretty good deal. The package you get is basic, but it does come with Windows 11 pre-installed on the system. So you don't have to worry about any type of OS on it whatsoever. All you do is just plug it in, boot it up, log into your account, if you have a Microsoft account, obviously, log into it, and then you're up and going. And like I said, gaming, not good. Just barely, to me, in my eyes, playable at all. I feel that AMD 780M gaming chipset is much more robust for gaming all around than Intel's. I mean, we all know that Intel's really kind of late to the entire, you know, GPU thing in general. I mean, they finally came out with GPU cards, what, like, you know, an infinity after the market had been created, and they're still lagging in this particular department. Now, the i9, this is a very fast CPU. It's powerful. It'll crunch numbers. It'll do 3D. It'll do whatever you need to do. The system doesn't get very loud, um, even though it does have a fan built into it. At the end of the day, it looks cool. It performs well for anything you want to do on your desktop other than gaming. I'll have a link down there below if you guys want to check it out. Also, our newest pain cylinder song has come out. It's called The Serpent in the Garden. So if you guys want to check out that bad boy, I'll have a link down below as well. I thank you guys for watching. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. And we'll see you guys back here for more videos. Peace!